welcome back for another episode. If this is your first time here, welcome, and don't forget to subscribe. Now, we're not going to be focusing on the electrical layout or electrical cabinet or wiring at this time, but it does give us a starting point for the project we are going to be working on today. The project we're going to be working on today is going to be our right angle DIN rail mount mounting solution for our MESA 7i92. Now you can buy a DIN rail mount directly from MESA or one of their suppliers. However, it will mount it in this orientation. And as you can see, that takes up substantially more space. I want to mount it on edge like so. However, I'm actually going to be mounting it in the opposite orientation. See if I can get it to stand up that way. You get the idea. It'll be that orientation, but vertical. And the reason we're going to do that is because I want to leave enough space here to mount our wire trunking. For those not familiar, that is this component here. It comes in many lengths and you just cut it down to size for what you need. I'll be using a one inch wide by one and a half inch tall variety. I'll see you at my welding table. While we're not going to be doing any welding today, it's a convenient place to lay out the components necessary to focus on today's project. Now, the main components we're going to need for today is some sort of material, wood, plastic, metal, the DIN rail mounts, mounting hardware, and most importantly, the card drawing from our 7992 manual. So as you can see, hopefully in the camera, we have our first leg that we marked out right here. And then our second leg marked out right there. This will enable us to do one cut of the tube at 11 millimeters wide and get all of the, the brackets and the material we'll need for both brackets out of one cut. Let's go ahead and take you over to my bandsaw and I'll get everything set up, reposition the camera, and we'll get that cut. I picked this up from Amazon a couple years ago. It's manufactured by WEN, W-E-N. Let's go ahead and get the material installed in the vise and uh, make our cut. Not too bad. And my aluminum tube goes on to provide material for yet another project.
right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish the filing off camera and I'll bring you guys back. All right, we're back at the welding table. I went ahead and filed, sanded, and drilled and tapped the required holes. All right, so I grabbed a piece of DIN rail and mounted one of the DIN mounts. That is the end goal. It will mount to the DIN rail like so. But next, we have to mount the DIN mounts to our new right angle bracket. We're gonna do that using the included screws. We're only gonna use four, two for each mount. Now when we're mounting these, keep in mind the orientation of this clip. You get a flathead in there and you pry on it to release it. So if I want my MESA card to be mounted on this side, I want the release clip to be mounted in the opposite direction. Hopefully you'll be able to see that. Our screw holes align perfectly. All right, I'm gonna grab my screwdriver and we'll get those installed. And there's our two right angle DIN mounts. Now all we have left to install is our hardware. From a three inch, quarter inch wall, aluminum tubing. And this is 6061 if I haven't said prior. To a MESA 7992 right angle DIN mount. All right, so if there's any particular content you guys want me to cover in detail on the electrical enclosure, just let me know and I'll try my best to get that covered. So to all the women out there who watch my channel, I know there's not very many, 
Well, my analytics show there are a few. I don't think I'm going to have another video out between now and then. So I'll go ahead and say Happy Mother's Day to all of you. I know my mother watches this channel, so Happy Mother's Day. And there we have it, a right angle Mesa 7992 DIN rail mount. I'll go ahead and pull it in closer to the camera. <laughs> Not too bad for spending a couple hours having fun in the shed. And here we have my final mount with the Mesa 7i92 installed in its location that it will be installed in the electrical enclosure as soon as that arrives. You can see we have plenty of space to loop a ribbon cable around. We have plenty of space to mount my one inch wire trunking and I look forward to the next episode. Thank you guys for watching.